assalamu alaikum welcome to the class my name is adil asandar and from today i am starting the a series of uh, video lectures on the basic concepts of the quantity surveying and the valuation or simply what we call the estimating and costing in civil engineering and uh, in this course um, we will talk about uh, the basic concepts um, uh, which were very important in uh, their quantity surveying and uh, besides uh, this subject all other uh, subjects will be taught uh, in this uh, youtube channel like uh, uh, surveying uh, strength of material fluid mechanics soil mechanics all other important civil engineering subjects will be taught uh, by the different members of uh, this channel so let us begin uh, with the quantity surveying and evaluation as of now so if uh, i talk about uh, the syllabus uh, which we will be discussing in this series is uh, first of all we will uh, see the introduction part uh, what does basically estimate or the quantity surveying means then we will see uh, the different uh, types of the estimate what are uh, what the different types of estimates uh, that we have you know, like the preliminary estimate the detailed estimate revised estimate supplementary there are many number of estimates and everyone you know, will be discussed here and then uh, we will talk about the measurement where we will see some uh, rules which are uh, very important uh, when we are preparing our estimate and in this uh, chapter we will uh, uh, talk about uh, the two basic methods of the estimate that or the long wall and short wall method and the other one is the uh, center line method and in the chapter number four uh, we will spend a lot of time in this chapter because uh, it is a very important chapter we have to uh, see in detail in this um, uh, chapter and the detailed and the abstract of um, the different plans in which we will see the two room building with the veranda with the roof so uh, this uh, chapter uh, will be very important then <clears throat> we will talk about uh, the calculation of the quantities of material how we calculate the different materials like how we calculate the cement how we calculate the fine aggregate how we calculate the coarse aggregate etc so after that uh, when we calculate and the quantities of the material we will go for the analysis of rates in that chapter we will see how a complete analysis of an estimate is done then we have the theory portion the contractorship then the document and the preparation of the comparative statement a little time will be spent on these three chapters then in the end we will have the valuation now talking about the books you need to go through uh, there are a number of books uh, available in the market like um, we have the estimating and costing in civil engineering including the specifications and valuations authored by b and data and similarly we have other books like civil estimating costing and valuation uh, authored by amarjit agarwal and ak upade there are a number of books you can go through uh in order to completely understand the concept of estimating now talking about in the introduction now what basically estimate means what we know about the estimate look uh, whenever we go for any construction whenever we have to start any engineering project it is very important to know the probable cost of the construction for the complete work and that cost will include the cost of material the cost of transportation the cost of labor cost of scaffolding cost of tools and plants establishment and the supervision charges cost of water taxes and the reasonable profit of the contractor etc there are a lot of things which 
uh, need to be taken care of and if uh, the calculated probable cost is there greater than the money available or greater than the budget that we have then the attempts are made to lessen the cost by reducing the work or by changing some specifications this thing is very important to uh, know calculations mainly consist of the length multiplied by the breadth multiplied by the height or it is simply length multiplied by the breadth or the depth it uh, can simply be the length multiplied by the height or simply length multiplied by the breadth all these calculations are taken from the drawings there is no hard and fast rule for finding out the dimensions from the drawings but for a quick work certain principles may be followed by the student now if i talk about the definition of an estimate we can simply say it is the probable cost of the work which is prepared before the construction is taken up or we can simply say it indicates uh, us uh, the work to be done under each item which when priced per unit gives us the amount of the cost or we can simply say it is the calculation of the quantities of material required to complete the work concerned so there are plenty of uh, definitions uh, for this estimate you can go through the books you can uh, see the different definitions uh, given by the different authors and but the basic is you know, the same that it is it gives us the probable cost of the work which is prepared before the construction is taken up now talking about uh, the importance of estimate what is its importance why we need to study this subject there are a number of importances of uh, this subject uh, like uh, it uh, the very first importance is it helps us in working out the approximate cost it helps us in working out the approximate cost of the work before uh, uh, this work is taken up and if uh, i repeat uh, if uh, and the calculated probable cost uh, is increasing our budget and then uh, and efforts are made uh, to lessen and the cost okay second importance can be it uh, helps to check um, the work done by the contractor during and after the execution so it acts as a check for us because in estimate uh, every item of work is mentioned we can go to the site and see whether this particular work uh, has been done or not so it helps us in that aspect as well uh, another uh, importance can be it gives us the idea about the requirement of material how much material is required to complete in the specific job so there are many many uh, uh, importances of the estimate it also helps us in the evaluation there are number number of uh, importances of uh, this estimate uh, so uh, this this is the theoretical portion you can go through the book and see this all by yourself so the next thing which we will be uh, discussing who will who makes the estimate who is the person concerned who makes the estimate we have a quantity surveyor is the person remember quantity surveyor is the person who calculates all the quantities uh, in our estimate it is his job to prepare a well detailed estimate so what are the duties of the surveyor and it's again his duties to first of all to see the feasibility of the project and um, it's the job of the quantity surveyor uh, to go for the evaluation and he acts as a um, as a financial advisor to the client and he arranges all the 
uh, staff payments extra managing dealing with the uh, all the legal uh, documents uh, is the person uh, responsible for all this quantity uh, surveyor now moving on uh, to the next thing that is the what is the uh, data required to prepare estimate the first thing which is important here is the drawing the second thing is specification and the third one is rates these three things are very important in order to prepare uh, to, in order to prepare an estimate the first thing here is you know, the drawing you know, talking about the drawing uh, a drawing um, should be uh, fully detailed uh, and uh, every drawing should be made available um, before preparing an estimate like uh, the cross section and the plan and the different elevations everything should be made available and the dimensions should be given clearly in that very drawing the second thing is the specification the specification basically are of two types one is brief specification and the other one is a detailed specification now what specification basically means specification um, basically describes the nature and the class of the work and what kind of material to be used in our work the worksmanship etc and it is very important for the execution of the work and uh, we should uh, remember one thing that the cost of the work depends much on the specification and it should be very clear and uh, uh, there should be no doubt anywhere in this specification and uh, specification are now of two types one is brief specification another is the detailed specification brief spec brief specification also known as the general specification gives us um, the nature and the class of the work and the material in general terms uh, from foundation to the superstructure it is basically a short description of the different parts of the work specifying the material the qualities the proportions etc and the detailed specification gives us the detailed description and it gives in detail uh, the quality and the quantity of material the proportion of the mota worksmanship the method of preparation and the execution and the methods of the measurement so this is the difference between a uh, brief specification and a detailed specification we will uh, talk about this later on then the third thing which is very important um, in order to prepare an estimate is the rates and quanti uh, the quantity surveyor should be well aware of uh, the rates which are locally available in the market now there are certain factors on which uh, our estimate depends so there are few factors which need to be considered in order to prepare the detailed estimate the first factor is uh, the quantity of material the second thing is availability of material And the third thing transportation of material fourth is location of site fifth availability of labor so the first point is the quantity of material what we need to remember 
about this point and the quantity of material the more the quantity we have more uh, we and the more the quantity we have uh, uh, the same can be purchased at the cheaper rate than the rate of the smaller quantity of material it is a very simple thing whenever we have to purchase a material in a large quantity it um, uh, will be it will be purchased at, uh, relatively at uh, the lesser price as compared to when the quantity is small and the second point is availability of material now talking about this point we have to make our material available at the site whenever it is required if we not do the if we do not do the same uh, then what will happen our uh, estimated cost will increase why because our labor engaged in the work will be ideal so the third point is the transportation of the material now same thing as the quantity of material the more we have to transport it will be transport at the lower price as compared to the as compared to when the uh, we have to transport a uh, less material simpler words the cost of transportation of the smaller quantity of material will be more in comparison with the cost of the transportation of large quantity of material bought at the time the fourth point is the location of the site talking about this point if the uh, site of work is located at any odd place for which and the frequent loading unloading is necessary due to this uh, damages or the loss of the material uh, will happen and we will and we have to uh, consider uh, uh, that thing very carefully and the last point is the availability of labor now the daily wages of the local laborer should be considered before the preparation of an any estimate as far as possible we should you know like engage the locally available labor uh, which uh, will that thing will um, uh, that labor who is locally available there uh, will uh, have the uh, less wages as compared to one who will uh, will come from the distant place uh, so this is all about the basic introduction of the uh, estimate so in this um, uh, video lecture what we have learned so far that what we basically mean by the estimate it is basically the pro uh, probable cost of any project before it is taken up and it is very important to prepare an estimate uh, before going to any project and then we talked about uh, its importance we talked about uh, the quantity surveyor his job then talked about uh, what is the data required to prepare an estimate and in the end we talked about uh, the factors uh, that need to be considered uh, before the preparation of any detailed estimate uh, so in the next lecture uh, i will talk about uh, the different types of estimate and uh, from that thing our numericals will start mm -hmm. uh, so in that we will see what is the preliminary estimate what are its types then what is the detailed estimate what are its types so everything will be discussed thank you very much for the class